What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about t-shirts. All right, just like jeans, the t-shirt is one of those basic essential wardrobe items that every man needs to own. They're comfortable, they're casual, they're versatile, and you really need at least a handful of t-shirts that fit well and that make you look and feel great. Now, just like with anything else, the way a t-shirt fits is going to make or break how it looks on you and how it makes you look to other people. On one side of the spectrum, we have the ill-fitting uh, graphic t-shirt that's old and worn out that will pretty much make anybody look like a sloppy teenager. And on the other side, we have fitted high quality t-shirts in versatile solid colors or tasteful patterns. And these are universally flattering. No matter how old you are, or your skin tone or body type, these pretty much look great. Now, obviously that's what we're going for, but being a shorter guy, it can be hard to find a t-shirt that actually fits and flatters your build. Now at 5'6", I've struggled to find t-shirts that aren't too long for me. And sometimes even if I find a t-shirt that fits everywhere else, it's still, you know, three or four inches too long. And maybe you've struggled to find t-shirts that fit properly. Maybe they're too long or maybe you've experienced other fit problems like, you know, the neck hole being too big or the t-shirt being too baggy or the sleeves being too long or too wide. And I totally feel your pain and, you know, let's be honest, most t-shirts aren't designed with the shorter man in mind. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but wait, Brock, that t-shirt that you're wearing looks like it fits perfectly. Well. Thank you, I'm glad you noticed because I really have to thank today's video sponsor, Sharp Casual Wear. Sharp Casual Wear makes stylish staples for men 5'8 and under. Staples like this black v-neck t-shirt, they also make Henleys, pullovers, and some other things. And if you have been following The Modest Man for a while, you might remember that I reviewed Sharp Casual Wear when they first launched a while back. And in that review, uh, I said that, you know, I was happy with the length of the shirts and the quality and the feel of the fabric but I wished that they had a slimmer fit option. Of course, I relayed this info to Danny Hernandez, the founder of Sharp Casual Wear, and he listened. You know, he listens to my feedback and feedback from other customers, and now they have a trim fit option. They also have a regular and a broad fit. So pretty much anybody who's 5'8 or under can find uh, you know, a shirt uh, that really fits and flatters their build from Sharp Casual Wear. For me, the size small and trim fit is perfect for my 120 pound frame. On top of that, their shirts are made in San Francisco. They use a variety of really interesting, really high quality and innovative fabrics like tensile, merino wool, you know, bamboo cotton blends like this one. So just really, really cool company. If you've struggled to find, you know, t-shirts or casual shirts that fit well on your frame, highly recommend checking out Sharp Casual Wear. And of course, there's a great discount for you, so check out the deal down in the description. Big thanks one more time to Sharp Casual Wear for supporting The Modest Man and sponsoring this video. Okay, let's talk about how a t-shirt should fit. So we're gonna talk about four different areas, the shoulders, the sleeves, the torso, which is the chest, stomach, and hips, and then the length of the shirt. First off is the shoulders, and the thing you wanna watch out for is you wanna make sure the shoulders aren't too wide. So the best way to do this is to find where your shoulder ends and there's a bone right at the end of your shoulder where your shoulder ends and your arm begins. And you wanna make sure that the shoulder seam of the shirt doesn't extend past that bone. Now listen, it's okay if it goes a little past it, but you wanna make sure it's not hanging down on your arm because that's a surefire sign that the shirt is too big for you. Moving on to the sleeves, uh, there's two things you wanna look out for. One is the width of the sleeves and one is the length. So you wanna make sure that the sleeves end roughly halfway between your elbow and your armpit. Listen, this is approximate. You know, you don't have to get the measuring tape out. You just wanna make sure that they're not so short that they're up in your armpit and restrictive. And you wanna make sure that they're not so long they're down near your elbow because that's gonna make your arms look shorter. For the width, you wanna make sure that your sleeves aren't tenting out away from your arms. This can make it hard for people to appreciate your guns and give them the respect that they deserve. Instead, the sleeves should fit closely around your arm without being tight or restrictive like a compression shirt you might wear for working out. So for example, you should be able to pinch about a half inch of extra fabric outside of your arm. Okay, next up we have the torso. This is the chest and the stomach and the hips. A fitted look is what we're going for, not too tight, not too loose. So if you pinch the extra fabric uh, right around your lower ribs, love handle area, you should be able to get about an inch of extra fabric on either side of your torso. If you can't pinch any extra fabric, your shirt's probably too tight. If you can pinch more than an inch on either side, it might be too loose for you. Now around the chest, you shouldn't notice any pulling or any lines 
between your pecs. If that's the case, the shirt might be too tight or you just might hit the bench press a little too often. Instead, the shirt should sit flat against your chest with no wrinkling or pulling and it should feel comfortable and not restrictive. Now, of course, the most problematic part of the t-shirt for the shorter man is the overall length of the shirt. Your shirt should go about two inches past your waistband or past the bottom of your belt and it should hit right around mid fly or halfway down your zipper. If it goes all the way to the bottom of your fly, it's probably too long. And unfortunately, this is gonna make you look shorter. Now granted at five, six, I don't think there's anything wrong with being short, but I think we can all agree that we don't wanna look shorter than we actually are. Now, if you have a t-shirt that fits well everywhere else, but it's a little too long, you can get it hemmed at the tailor. That's one good option to salvage shirts that you already own and love. But if you're buying new shirts, I recommend just finding shirts that are the correct length like this one I'm wearing from Sharp Casual Wear. And that is how a t-shirt should fit. And if your t-shirts fit properly, and if they're high quality, and if they're in you know nice, versatile, solid colors or tasteful patterns, you know they go a long way. I mean, you can wear them with shorts, jeans, chinos. I've even seen people dress them up by throwing a jacket on over. So, you know, uh, the t-shirt is a very versatile, very essential part of your wardrobe. You just have to make sure that it fits. Big thanks again to Sharp Casual Wear for sponsoring this video. You know, if, if you've been frustrated with t-shirts that don't fit or t-shirts that are too long, I highly recommend checking them out. You know, most brands ignore the shorter man. Sharp Casual Wear focuses all of its energy on helping guys five, eight and under, you know, look great in t-shirts. So definitely check them out. If you have any questions about how a t-shirt should fit or anything else having to do with t-shirts, let me know down in the comments. And until next time, stay stylish.